culture of lentil seeds at home. In this video, the protocol for lentil germination is going to be described. General rules for tissue culture are to avoid contamination on the explant medium, maintain a good posture, use gloves and wash them with alcohol, keep your hair tied up, use masks, sterilize materials, and work quickly in a laminar flow bench. Material sterilization. Sterilize the material using heat 10 for 30 minutes. To sterilize the seeds, add 2.5 mm bleach and 250 mm of water into a container carrying the seeds. Rise them 4 times with water and add them into sterile area. For the media preparation, I use water, agar and MS medium. Prepare the medium by adding the MS medium followed by the water, mix it and add agar. Take it to the microwave for a short period of time to heat the solution until it reaches homogeneity. Be careful not to spill the solution. Pour the medium and cover it with aluminum and sterilize. For the inoculation procedure, a sterile area was created using a plastic box, plastic foil, aluminum foil and candles. Spray container with 7% alcohol and flame the mouth of the flask before adding seeds with a sterilized tracer. Finally cover it with aluminum foil. 
Their germination type of lentils took two days. In additional notes, this medium does not have hormones cause those are not required for the germination process. Thank you. In this video, I explain how I carry out the in vitro germination of lentil seeds. Seeds were left in water six hours before starting. Then, they were put in another container. To this, 1% sodium hypochlorite was added. For this, 6.34 chloralex was used. With this, 8.33 milliliters was then used to be dissolved in 50 milliliters of sterilized distillate water. They were allowed 50 minutes before starting the three subsequent rinses. The MS medium and agar provided by the professor was used. This was prepared for a final volume of 50 milliliters. MS was added first and stirred until completely dissolved. Then agar was added and head full until uniform. Had let stand 5 minutes and put into 3 glass gather little years. After this, these lids were put in and placed in the patient cooker to be sterilized together with the tweezers. Previously, a cardboard box was lined with aluminum foil and transparent plastic with holes where the gloves could enter and be able to maneuver inside. The box must be sterilized inside, as well as everything that is put in after this using 70% ethanol. The condors were lit, the media and tweezers were removed from the pot. The three seed rinses were done using sterilized distilled water. A tweezer was brought to the fire and allows to cool to start. The seeds were taken one by one and three were placed in the first container. The above was repeated for the next two containers, taking care to bring the lids and nozzles of the containers close to the fire to avoid any type of contamination. When finished, the gas will sit with paraffin, giving it five tight turns. This was how the experiment was left. The containers were left inside the box and in a room with light and room temperature. During the next four days, there will be no sign of contamination in the medium or germination. On day five, they begin to show signs of germination in container three. Nine days later, after starting the experiment, only contained three short positive results. The other two did not show contamination and neither did hemination.
Hi, I hope you are doing okay today. So, plant tissue culture is a really important practice for both commercial and research means, but have you ever thought of doing this at home? Don't worry, come with me and let's see how to do this. So first, things you have to consider when doing your protocol. So you have to take into consideration the sterilizations and see if you are gonna work with. Also, be mindful of the illumination of your house and the ingredients and climate of your region so you can know what you are working with. So here is a list of materials that I use for my protocol. Uh, honestly, I was looking for coconut water instead of the beverage, but I believe either of them work really nice. So first you're gonna sterilize your containers for 30 minutes in boiling water. Then you're gonna proceed to clean the seeds. I use a mix of alcohol, water, and a drop of jetary. This was for only one minute. Then you are gonna prepare the media. Uh, here is the recipe that worked for me. And you have to sterilize the media for 15 minutes in a pressure cooker. Then you are gonna proceed to pour the mixture in your containers. Please close the lids while you are waiting for the agar to settle because uh, you can have contamination if you don't close them. Then you're gonna prepare the laminar flow hood. Please clean everything with alcohol and detergent if it's possible. Then you are gonna pass to the inoculation uh, part. Please don't take your hands out of the area and the tweezers always have them in alcohol and every time you use them, return them to the alcohol. Please work quickly and have always the lid there to close to avoid contamination. Finally, for my results, in my first trial, I used a recipe that had too much fertilizer. So in eight of the containers, no work was achieved and one of the containers didn't have the lid closed correctly, so it contaminated. So please be mindful of these little details. Finally, uh, I did a second trial with the recipe I showed you in the slides before, and this was had the better results. As you can see, growth was achieved and no contamination uh, was present. This is because I really closed them tightly with plastic wrap. So as final observation, please be careful of the fertilizer concentration, the sterilization, the area, and closing the containers correctly. Thank you so much for your attention and have fun doing science at home. Bye. Hello, my name is Sofia Rubalcaba from Biotechnology Engineering. And in this video, I'm going to present you the process of my homemade micropropagation project using lentil seeds. For this protocol, I use the following materials. And for the medium, I use a homemade medium and the MS media that I got from the lab. First step was the sterilization. So as an autoclave, I use a hot dog pot. I left the materials inside for 25 minutes at 130 degrees. The lentils were sterilized, taking 10 minutes in alcohol and 2 minutes in nano pure water. As a laminar hood, I use a box with aluminum paper and a plastic sheet. Everything is sterilized with alcohol. The candles were useful to create an aseptic zone. For the inoculation process, carefully and using the teasers, I open a flask and put four lentils in the top of the culture, verifying they didn't get submerged and avoid touching the jar walls. Then I put a sterilized plastic sheet as a protection cap and pass very gently the jar lid through the flame before closing it. I did the same for the other three flasks. For this project, I made the, I made two flasks with MS Media and two with my homemade media. During the day, I left the cultures in front of a closed window so they could receive indirect sunlight. And during the night, I left them inside a sterilized bathroom with the light on. I tried to achieve the temperature range between 25 and 28 degrees. After one day, the first germination starts to be visible. After two days, the germination was clear, but also the probability of fungi activity. After three days, almost the half of the lentils germinate, 
but unfortunately fungi activity appears and besides I tried to taking it away fungi didn't stop After four days and to avoid more contamination, I decided to start the transplantation process. Conclusions, only the 25% of the seeds germinate accurately. The MS media were definitely more effective than the one with potato water and with this protocol it is possible to get a successful micropropagation. The first step was to clean the room. I put a plastic box and a fan in the back of it to simulate a laminar flow cabinet. When working in this space, it is important to wear coat, face mask, and gloves. I disinfected every material that I put inside the plastic box with 70% ethanol. The sterilization of the flasks was done using a pressure cooker for 20 minutes. While this happened, I also boil some water to sterilize it and then use it to prepare the medium. When the flasks were sterile, I start to prepare the medium. First, I put some MS medium in 50 ml of water and mix it. Then I added the agar and heat in the microwave until it was completely dissolved in the water. Then, I transfer this mixture to the sterile flasks and put the lid until it solidified. After this, I started the seed disinfection process. I left the seeds in 70% ethanol for 3 minutes. Then, I passed them to bleach for 7 minutes and finally rinse 3 times in water. Finally, I placed them inside the flask. During this process, it is important to use a disinfected tweezer and avoid touching the inner part of the flask. Then, I left the flasks closed with their lids inside a box at room temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius and natural sunlight that came into the room through the window. These are the results I obtained during the next days. The second day, one lentil seed began to open in half, while tomato seeds stayed the same. The third day, one lentil seed started to germinate in the morning. In the fourth day, a little plantlet started to emerge in a lentil seed and at night, another one arises in another seed. In the fifth day, the lentil plantlets continued growing up and it was until this night when tomato seeds started to germinate. In the sixth day, the lentil plantlets continued growing and the radical of tomato seeds extended. By the seventh night, the planets of lentil seeds were bigger and the radicals of tomato seeds larger. Hi, my name is Pilar and I'm gonna present my homemade tissue culture experiment. Originally, my plan was to grow orchid seeds, but due to the small amount of time, I wasn't able to get them on time. Therefore, I decided to cultivate tomato seeds instead. I will explain the materials used, the procedure I follow, and the final results. The materials for the aseptical workplace are candles, antibacterial gel, disinfecting wipes, antibacterial spray disinfectant, and chlorine solution at 70% of alcohol. For the tissue culture, you need pressure cooker, two small jars, plastic wrap, Spoon or stirrer, 15 grams of MS medium, 15 grams of agar, 50 milliliters of water, two small containers or bowls to mix the medium and sterilize the seeds, tomato seeds, bleach and still water, and pH strips. For the procedure, is divided in three main steps, sterilization, media preparation, and inoculation. For the sterilization of the workplace, you have to wash your hands carefully and disinfect them with the antibacterial gel afterwards. Spray the antibacterial disinfectant over the surface where you are going to work. 
clean again the workplace with a chlorine solution and the disinfecting wipes and place the candles around the workplace, making sure you have enough space to work surrounded by them. This creates a more aseptic environment. For the materials, you need to place the materials inside the pressure cooker with a small amount of water, heat the pressure cooker for about 20 to 30 minutes, take the materials out carefully and make sure to place them inside the sterile workplace. For the um, sterilization of the seeds, you just need to place the tomato seeds in a small bowl with a bleach solution for about five to seven minutes, then rinse them out with a small amount of distilled water and make sure to place them inside the sterile workplace. For the media preparation, add the small bowl 15 milliliters of water and then mix it with the 15 grams of MS medium until it is homogenous. Then you have to add the 15 grams of agar to the same bowl um, and mix it again until you have an homogeneous solution. You can also add a little bit of chicken soup media so it becomes more nutritious. With the help of the pH strip, check out the media has an ideal pH that has to be between five and six. If that's not the case, add a little bit of baking soda until you get the right pH. Place half of the media in each jar to have approximately 25 milliliters in each. Cover the jars with their corresponding lids without closing them completely. Then take the jars to the pressure cooker so the media can be sterile for about 10 to 15 minutes. Take out the jars and wait until the media is solid and place it, the lids properly. This might take about 50, 45 minutes to an hour. Then wrap the top part of the jars with plastic paper to ensure they are clean. For the final step for the inoculation, you just need to clean again the workplace to avoid an external contamination. Open the jars carefully and insert the tomato seeds in the media. Then close the jars again and wrap them with new disinfected plastic. Place the jars in a room with a room temperature for about 25 degrees Celsius and wait until you see changes in the seeds and keep an eye on them to make sure no contamination has happened. Even though I follow correctly the procedure to grow the tomato seeds, they haven't grown. The main reason I think this happened was because of the temperature changes that might have suffered because of the site where I decided to place them. How, however, I will wait and see if there are any results eventually. These are the references I used. Thank you so much for your attention. The purpose of this experiment was to carry out a homemade tissue culture experiment with the aim of obtaining the germination of a seed. The experiment was done with bean and lentil seeds. The materials I used were a laminar flow hood made with aluminium in a cardboard box. I also used candles, alcohol at 70%, four flasks, distillate water, chlorine, gloves, a face mask, and the ingredients to make the medium. I used two different mediums. One was with agar and MS medium, and the other one was with a Xiamin tablet, banana, and distilled water. First, I did the MS medium. For this, the MS medium was diluted in 50 milliliters of distilled water. Then, the agar was added and heating in the microwave for a few seconds until the agar was completely diluted. For the homemade medium, 50 grams of a banana were liquefied with a Tiamin tablet and distilled water. Gelatin was added and heated in the microwave to dilute it. I sterilized the flask using the express pot during 40 minutes and then I added the medium. I let them dry inside the laminar flow hood and to know if they had already solidified, I gave them little pushes with my finger. Once they were dry, I started the culture. For this, I sterilized the seeds, washing them with chlorine and soap. Then I put them 20 seconds in alcohol at 70% and I washed them twice with distilled water. Once the seeds were sterilized, I proceed to sterilize with alcohol the laminar flow hood and culture the seeds inside the flask. I work with two candles and a tweezers that previously were sterilized with alcohol. I put the cultures next to a window so they can get natural light 
and I close them really well with adhesive plastic to prevent the entrance of dust. After two days, the only seed that starts germinate was a lentil seed. Then it started growing up. The medium weren't contaminated, but the only seed that germinated was a lentil seed culture in the MS media and this was the result. Pues este mismo día nosotros...